Hello everyone, I welcome you back again to this Road to Academy's course um, Certificate of Readiness to Enter Specialty Training, a comprehensive guide for IMGs. Uh, today in this lesson we are going to discuss about uh, an e-portfolio. Uh, before coming to the UK I had no idea about this and I'm sure uh, many of us are in the same boat. Uh, if you had an idea about what an e-portfolio is before coming to the UK, obviously things are much easier for you. But if uh, you're one of them who were like me, who had no idea about what an e-portfolio is, and I, I, I hope that after watching this lesson you'll have some idea what an e-portfolio is and, and you'll be able to use it uh, uh, effectively in uh, on on your behalf. So the e-portfolio that are being used by the foundation doctors in the UK is called Horus e-portfolio. If you go to Google and search this Horus e-portfolio and you can get this Horus e-portfolio thing on. So before you even you can do that, if you need, uh, the, all the information that is given here, you have to get a login from your postgraduate medical education. So Yes, some of the PGMCs may not provide you uh, with a, a Horacy portfolio, but all the uh, uh, postgraduate medical education I have been, I mean, it has been two, but the one that I was in as a non-training grade, they could give me access to Horace portfolio as a non-training doctor, um, saying that I'm a non-training doctor, which allowed me to use the Horus e-portfolio and, and gather my evidences and put them together and have an educational, uh, had a clinical supervisor who would be uh, looking at the evidence that I gathered and evaluate me as it gets evaluated uh, for the foundation trainees. Uh, so e-portfolio is something like a briefcase which uh, you will have a briefcase or say a folder where you will put all the evidences of learning events that you do uh, together uh, so that it doesn't get lost, so that it can be verified, so that it can you can get feedback on everything that you do. We're going to go at length uh, soon. So first of all, obviously, you'll have to contact your postgraduate medical education wherever you're working. Uh, can I get access to Horus ePortfolio? I'm sure the, most of the postgraduate medical education will be happy to give you that because the, the, the portfolio run by the Health Education of England, they have agreed to give it access to the non-training doctors. So I don't see why the postgraduate will be uh, saying anything different. So I think I have to switch mode to a training. There we go. So this is the home. I think if you go to overview, as you can see, it's a lot of information here. Uh, I, this is me this is an f2 with a non-training grade this is my gmc number so these are all my information that i have already been put here and what i did in my non-training job so the most important thing in this portfolio is 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 finding all these um uh, things that you can put in so if you go to the curriculum then you can actually see uh, what is needed for a foundation doctor so as we, as I, I gave you an idea, as we actually saw the crest form, it's actually the similar one. Um, you can see four sections, section one, section two, section three, and section four. These are the same competencies that you saw on the crest form, professional behavior and trust, communication, team working and leadership, clinical care, and safety and equality. As you can see, the portfolio is actually uh, based on this all uh, this foundation competencies that uh, uh, foundation program companies are called FPCs, which are, uh, are shown here. So you can map an evidence to each and one of them, and uh, whoever is set as your uh, educational supervisor by uh, the postgraduate medical education will be able to see what you're doing on your portfolio. So they can assess, and at the end of everything, they can actually get the crest form and sign you off them there. So this is the evidence that you're showing all put together. So you don't have to go to your consultant with uh, with a bunch of paperwork and, and the consultant doesn't have to sift through all of those to find out what you did and what you didn't. Uh, rather, he can, he can see all of this in this portfolio and, and he can be happy uh, that no, this doctor uh, uh, has done everything that a foundation doctor needs to do uh, according to what uh, the, the doctor has provided in this portfolio so I can get the crest form signed. So this is actually a, 
a, a good backup and uh, this the system here is amazing so there there are many things that you can write reflections you can have a pdp so obviously my uh, pdp was to gain advanced life support um, uh, participation in a quality improvement project and get to gain some teaching skills to improve some clinical skills uh, also uh, i think it's, it's not achieved but i think by by the time um i have gotten my uh, crest form signed by uh, the consultant so uh, we will be also seeing another important thing later on when you discuss about the elfh i'm not sure whether you've heard of it but that's uh, a, a very important uh, uh, e-learning space for the foundation doctors which we will discuss in, in upcoming lessons so this portfolio what do you do so if you put the contents uh, there are different things that you can do um, let me just get my head around it so after after looking at the, <laughs> the portfolio up and down I think what had happened is they have taken away my capability of putting a new form in, which would be more beneficial. I think if you have the whole Horacy portfolio, you will be able to see an option to put a new form, which will give you the, the, the different types of um, supervised learning events like a mini KEX, CBD, um, or DOPS, which we will discuss in the next lesson, uh, and, and get those signed by the supervising consultant or any of the consultant that you did those under. So those helps to, uh, to prove, uh, for example, say uh, there, is, there is a, there is a, a curriculum, say you have, we have here, a descriptor say, descriptors yep so uh, there is there is a thing called say history so if you do a, a directly observed procedure like in front of the consultant uh, the taking a history from a patient and uh, reaching a provisional diagnosis you can map those uh, uh, one uh, adopts to different things well adopts would be mainly procedures but it could be a mini CAX mini clinical evaluation exercise uh, that you can get the consultant to sign off and use that uh, form to prove that oh I have done this portion of the foundation competencies so uh, we will discuss at length about different SLEs but unfortunately I could not show you uh, how to put the form here but I can show you one of the forms that I did probably yep I think there is a one case-based discussion that I did uh, 28th of October so it was um, you have to put the clinical event what's the date you have to what's the title of the clinical event then you have to be very careful not to provide any patient identifiable information here 44 year old male I, I talked about uh, what I did in uh, the ED and uh, the clinical setting was ED, what was the problem category, what was the focus of encounter and this is the trainer that uh, who observed this whole thing or who I discussed with uh, uh, has given me a, a, an agreed action and also this was my reflection about what I think that I needed to be done and I had to uh, put this information and uh, the consultant signed it off. So in, in, in the terms that are used by the consultant is called sending a ticket. So you are actually sending a ticket of the form to the consultant and the consultant will get an email that this doctor uh, needs uh, to get this signed and the consultant will sign this and it will be uh, put in your portfolio that yes, the consultant has signed it and you have agreed and the consultant has given you some feedback from it. So this uh, form is the, the official way of learning things. So this is not a test, this is not an assessment, which we will discuss in the next lesson about what an SLE or supervised learning events are. These are basically mini classes uh, or, 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 or mini learning points when you are working. Uh, so you're not formally going to lectures and tutorials or anything and maybe you are in your you know teaching or, or training time but even though when you're seeing a patient this bit of uh, a form is giving the proof that you're learning as you are working so that's the the, uh, the portfolio stuff all this can be 
stored and get get feedback from uh, from the uh, the consultants and other doctors as well i can show you one other thing which will be i think developing the clinical teacher i did it with yeah this i gave an uh, i think an audit thing i did audit presentation um yeah and also it was signed by the same consultant all right so this is how a, a portfolio looks like and it will be beneficial for uh, your career uh, your um, st1 and ct1 application if you can gain access through it if you can't there is always a good old-fashioned way of doing a paper portfolio where you uh, can get all of this um, if you do a cbd or case-based discussion you can print out uh, the blank forms from the Horacy portfolio or or even the JRCPTB website and and get those signed by the consultants right then and there. So if you can uh, keep those in the documentation that I've did a CBD on this, uh, this is the paper form, or if you uh, obtain all the, the evidences that you were supposed to upload in a portfolio, if you can keep it in the paper form, fine that's not a problem at all so paper portfolio is one way to go if you can't have an access to horacy portfolio but i definitely think an e-portfolio makes your life much easier because as you can see it gives you the fpcs you can map to them the consultant can see directly um, instead of going through all the papers that you submit to them so that's all about um, e-portfolio in this uh, lesson uh, in the next lesson we are going to discuss about what an sle is and uh, we're going to continue with uh, our crest course thank you mm -hmm.